Hey guys, so we're finally filming the Q&A video which was requested by Lauren W. Um, it's a great idea actually because we get so many questions and I can't reply to them all and a lot of them are the same kind of thing so this will hopefully answer some of your burning questions for us. <laughs> so we're going to answer these questions the best we can. We are not experts at Florida or International Drive or theme parks or prices or anything like that. This is just what we remember or think. It's just our opinion, so don't quote us on it. Yeah, don't quote us on it. <laughs> We're filming this in my sister's room, by the way. That's the Why? Sponge Why? Bath. Because <laughs> because it's better lighting. So got our first question from Jennifer K, who simply asked, "Which park tickets did you go for?" Um, Do you remember? We got the flexi ticket. Yeah. And Discovery Co tickets. There's many ways of doing it. Um, we just bought like an unlimited 14 days, didn't we? So you could literally go as much as you want when you want. There are cheaper ways of doing it. So if you just want to buy, if you plan it well, you can go for three or four days in one section. So you could buy Orlando for just three or four days. And then the second week or another three or four days at Disney. So, next question is from Simon mm. <laughs> or M, and he just says, Hi guys, is there anything you regret not doing while you were there? Simon's plan is running moon at the moment um, in Disney World, and he doesn't want to miss anything. And this comes from Simon, Leone, and Little Sammy. For me, um, while we were there the last time, one of my friends from work was there with his family. Um, we planned to do skydive above Kennedy Space Centre. Regret a little bit not doing that. Um, kind of him not dropped out, so that was my excuse. Um, <laughs> the second time we went, we got up, like we woke up at like 11 o'clock in the middle of the day. And at the time it was like, oh, we're tired, so what? But looking back, I think that's half a day we've lost. And if I would go again, I would get up early. Bush Gardens, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know if it's much of a regret for me. Not really a regret, but it would be nice to go. Yeah. Because we love animals and it's, it's a lot about animals, yeah. so it would be nice to go there. But it's I just... think we probably would if we went again. Yeah, I think we would if we went again. Robert E. actually asked, um, he's just recently come back from Florida um, and he went to Bush Gardens for the first time. If you ever returned to Florida, would you go there because it was awesome? Then yes. So yes. <laughs> Yes, we would. The reason we didn't go is because it's quite away, quite far away from all the other parks. If you've never been before and you don't know, it's what is it, a 40 minute drive, half an yeah. hour drive, something like that. So it was just kind of a. didn't want to drive that far. You okay, Disney? <laughs> so, we've had uh, similar kind of questions from Gary M and Kerry J. Um, we'll both ask, what inspired you to make videos and did you have any inspiration for the style in which you edit your videos? Richard W wanted to know the answer to that about your inspiration as well. I've always filmed things, whether it's my dogs or me and my sister made videos when we were really young, before YouTube even existed. And uh, my inspiration, um, I guess Phil, Emma and Ben. Um, I saw their videos. I thought it was a good idea. Um, I, w I was planning on recording anyway, but I kind of watched their videos and it got me excited to go. So I thought, I'm going to do that because maybe people will watch my videos and get excited as well. The style that I edit, no, I, I don't, there's no really inspiration, I guess, just. You got your own style. Girl. Yeah, I got my own style. So Gary also asked, what is your theme tune? What is our theme tune? What do you mean? Or do you mean we have like a, a thing to when we walk down the street, like Peter Griffin? <laughs> Peter Griffin! <laughs> um, what, would, what, would, what would be your feature? If you could have a feature every time you walk down the street. Wearing my granddad's clothes. <laughs> what you know about wrestling a fun man? What the hell? What you know? <laughs> But 
my granddad's dead, so. That would be pretty sick if you always close. Why don't we get all sad? <laughs> Your feed's gonna be. Consider naming them either Minnie, Mickey, Donald, or Daisy. Considering you guys love Disney so much. Well, sure. technically, these are our kids. <laughs> yeah, and that's Disney Pixar. Um, and short answer, no. As much as we love Disney, I don't fancy calling my kid Donald. We we already know what we're going to call our baby if we have a boy. So Megan also asks, what's your favourite Disney song of all time? Oh my god. That's a hard question. I've got so many favourites. I think my absolute... Oh, I don't know. You always sing Tangled. I always sing Tangled, but it's not... Like... She also says sing a bit for us, so go ahead. You're gonna have to, you've got loads, so you're going to have to sing a bit of everything now. Oh man, Megan! <laughs> Cheers! 7 a.m. the usual morning lineup. <laughs> Start with the chores and sweep till the floors all clean. Polish and wax, do laundry and mop and shine up. Sweep again, and by then it's like 7 15, and so I'll read a book, or maybe two or three. <laughs> That's not my favourite though. My favourite. What about Gaston's song? Gaston, my sister's favourite. I've got two in mind. You think you're not moving? No, although no. I do like Part of Your World very much. But my two favourites, one's gonna surprise you actually. One of them is um, When You Wish Upon a Star, because for me it's the ultimate Disney song. It's played on all the adverts and in the parks. Um, makes no <laughs> difference to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my so, god, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, for me that's the ultimate Disney song and it makes me cry quite a lot, pretty much every time I hear it because it reminds me of Florida. Yeah, and the second one, which you may, I don't think anybody will have guessed, but it's in fact from Lion King 2. And... <laughs> And it's called, oh my god, what's it called? Deception, disgrace, evil is playing as the scar on his face. That one. I can't for life for me think about what the actual name of it is, but that is my favourite Disney song. I think I can listen to that all day, every day. And what's your favourite song, Jeff? <laughs> what do you think of Black King one? Circle of Life. <laughs> Imagine a football manager called Arsene Wenger. 
because the lyrics are Awesome Benga! Trust you to bring football into a Disney store. But I do like Under the Sea as well. Under the Sea! That's Kiss the Girl. Look who I'm playing this. But it's Sebastian. So here's a question where uh, a lot, a lot of people ask us. Um, and I'll just read some of the names that have, have done this. So, Sean R, Jenny Louise, Rick and Cares, and Lauren W. All kind of ask a similar kind of question. So, what they're asking is, what's the best restaurant you went to in Florida? The best. So, let's go first of all then. Hollywood, I like. I enjoy Planet Hollywood. Well, for some unknown reason, I'm gonna do this in Scotland, but with a white bear accent. <laughs> and you did it. Florida accent really well. So, Thank you. what did you say? <laughs> Planet Hollywood. Okay. What's your favourite theme restaurant? Um. <laughs> I really like the Lee Paul's Cafe. Forest Cafe, that was good. Animals and the rain. Storm just in the middle of your food. <laughs> okay, so we're going about sector two. Now let's go with best food. Wait for me. It has to be passes to India. <laughs> <laughs> passes to India. Passes to India. Well, just be one. Yeah, I think we love Indian food anyway. Yeah. So we went to a place just. It's quite close to uh, Sea World on International Drive called Passes to India. Um, it looks nothing special at all from outside, does it? It's just no, like it's not, little, not like massive. It's just a little car park with about three or four shops, like a barber's and a camera shop, and this passage to India. Um, I don't know where, why we, why we got it. I think we just searched on like TripAdvisor. Fancy um, the curry. And it was just amazing, wasn't it? It was just really absolutely nice. beautiful, really good value. Um, people that were there were really nice as well. It's uh, quite empty as well, so get going. We don't want it to shut down. If you go in, visit it. If it's like already it. shut down, we're really sorry. And then finally, set door three. Um, the place went more most often. The We've got to mention this because <laughs> yeah. this is literally where we at. Every day. every day. Nearly every day we at this place. After you've had a really busy day at the park and we were on our way home, we were just um, we just wanted to get something to eat, um, something that we knew quick um, and we knew what we were eating so every day we just went to Subway! <laughs> hey! I'm looking for sponsors There's a little bit where you thought you were going to hit the wall and there were flames everywhere Oh god! So I asked him to ask my well, mate to ask um, his name uh, so we asked him, he came back and he just went Jeff I went, what? He was like Jeff. And I'm like, no, seriously, what's you his sure? name? <laughs> that young man, not that 90 year old man. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, seriously, what's his name? 